The best mouse grip for aiming recruits the fingers, wrist, and arm to all contribute to the aiming action. Unlike other grips such as palm that doesn't utilize the fingers and fingertip grip that doesn't fully utilize the arm. The key features of this grip are the contact points with your mouse, starting with where it sits in your hand. The first of the two essentials is having the mouse rest against the base of the thumb. If the mouse is too far forward, you'll have a gap, or you'll really have to squeeze in the thumb which we don't want. You should feel the mouse being securely held in this position between the knuckle of your pinky and the base of your thumb. The second essential is having your mouse sit in line with the base of your thumb and wrist. If you grip it too high up, you'll get this gap and your wrist will float while aiming which we also don't want. For your fingers, only the tips should be touching the mouse. The pointer and middle fingers should rest naturally on mouse 1 and mouse 2. Try not to forcefully stretch them out or aggressively curl them up like this. Now, there are some top level players with an aggressive curl but for the most amount of people, a natural position will perform best. The thumb, ring, and pinky finger should be partially angled into the mouse. You don't want to force them to be too direct like this, or too flush, which starts to look more like a palm grip. The goal is simply to grip the sides of the mouse with your fingertips, no need to force any uncomfortable positions. And when I say fingertips, for the ring and pinky finger, it's mainly this side area next to the nail, and for the thumb, it's similar, but a little more centered. As a final check, your fingertips should be pointing in roughly these directions, but this will change slightly depending on mouse shape and size, so only use that as a rough guide. The whole point of gripping the mouse this way is to improve your control over where your mouse sensor goes. It sits very stable and secure in the hand, which makes wrist aiming extremely accurate and gripping with your fingertips provides excellent control over the smaller mouse movements, like aiming from the chest up to a headshot, while also giving you omnidirectional movement so you can get your crosshair where it needs to go. This excellent control over the fingers and wrist means your arm can be used for what it does best, which is handling large aiming movements to get your hand where it needs to be to do the bulk of your actual aiming. And there we have it, the optimal, most well-rounded grip for aiming. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions or thoughts, please comment below. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.